Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. We are on here midweek this week because GoodNotes has released an update. So um, if you're not seeing this update, you can always go to the app store, type in GoodNotes, and then update it from there. But basically this GoodNotes just contains um, a feature called Elements. It is an amazing feature. I actually had no idea that this feature was coming out. Um, I think it's going to be really, really useful and really, really fun to use, especially for digital planning. Um, also, if you if you go to school and you're doing notes and stuff, you can also save things to your elements that way. So I think there's a lot of people that's going to be able to use this across the board. I have been using it for a little bit. I've learned a couple little tricks with it. Um, so I'm going to show you guys that and just what the elements feature is. Okay, so about um, a day or two ago, GoodNotes released their GoodNotes 5 point seven update and that contains if you hit your little edit feature up here it contains this little um, addition to the toolbar so it has a little star on it and this is called elements so basically you can save any of your handwriting text um, stickers images anything that you would like to save like that that you'd use that copy and paste feature you can now save it in this little tab and it's called elements um, I'm loving the feature. I found a lot of shortcuts that we can use um, with using that, and I'm going to go through them all. So um, basically what that means is if I went to um, a day that I needed to plan for, so let's click May, um, and then let's click later on in the month. Okay, so all of my weekly spreads, um, there's some things that I add to my spread every single week. And instead of having to go back and find that exact element and copy and paste it, like I do two washi tapes across here to make this a three section up here. And instead of having to go back and copy it every single time that I want to plan a new week, I saved it into elements. So I can click the elements and then we're going to scroll down here and click on this. And I put frequent as the name of this collection. You can name collections. Um, each collection will show just the picture and I'll show you how you can choose which picture it's going to show and you can save things to it so here's my double washi if I click on this it's already going to be sized correctly for how I like to use it which I think is an incredible feature um, that we don't have to resize things so that's what's awesome I don't have to resize anything I am all set and ready to go so this is amazing in so many different ways sometimes we have things that fit just perfectly in certain spots of our planner and happen to go back and copy and paste those to get just the right fit this is just super easy it saves it for you so I love that now you can also add you know sticker collection support if you um, digital plan like we talk about here in the channel now I have not done a lot of research in this yet as far as capacity um, and all of that sort of thing so I would not recommend just going in and uploading every single sticker that you've ever bought um, what I am using it for let me just tell you what I'm using it for and then you can just use um, you know make your own judgment and decision um, what I'm using it for is anything that I do frequent all of my favorite stickers that I tend to use from month to month or I go keep going back to um, I do release a new sticker pack every single month with our breezy organization pl uh, planning company um, but I am not uploading all of May stickers all of June stickers all of July I think that's going to take up too much space I don't want good notes to become laggy I I don't know um, how much this has been beta test. I don't know how many stickers, you know, are recommended to put in there. So basically what I'm using it for is just um, basically what I would put in a favorite sticker planner is what I'm using it for. So a couple of different ways um, that you can import here. Uh, basically you can uh, click on this, you can scroll over and you can click this plus icon and you can title your new collection and you can import from. This allows you to import from files, um, but it only allows you to choose one one at a time so you do have to click each sticker now it will open up to the file you don't have to go find the file each time but um, you can only add like one sticker at a time and it's super easy to import from click the sticker that you want to import and there it is and then you can easily delete them by clicking the X button or you can click on add photos if you've saved a bunch to your photos you can click on add photos and then you can just choose whoops you can just choose which photos you want to add in from there. Um, and then another way that you can add, and this is the way that I seem to use it the most, 
is say I do want to add these washies on here you just hit the lasso tool you grab both of them hit copy and then add element and then you can simply choose which collection that you want to add that element to another way um, if you're wanting to use and just add these to um, they will show up right here to um, all of your most recent ones um, but if you do want to just add them to the page like I showed you earlier with the washi you just find the sticker that you want and you click on it and you can upload it you can always resize it um, if you're wanting to look at a whole pack at a time you can click this and then you can click this little split screen icon here and then you can change which collection you want to view down here at the bottom. It has all of your symbols and you can quickly um, just scroll through these. Now, all the stickers that I added are pretty low as far as um, they don't take up very much space. All of these are very uh, compressed stickers. So um, you can see it does take just a couple of seconds for them to load. Now I'm going to show you how I have mine organized here. I had the farmhouse stickers. Now here's something else to note with the elements feature. You'll notice most of these have a black background. Um, all of them don't have a background. Like So then to use these, you don't click. You have to drag and drop to use them whenever you're in split screen. Uh, but you can see this does not have a background on the sticker. So basically I imported these from files. And when I did that, it showed up with a black background, which it's not bad. I can can still see what I have. Um, I do kind of prefer the white background, especially even down here whenever it shows a black background. It was really hard to see what my icon was, but if you um, lasso and add it into your sticker planner that way, um, let me just drag this over and show you what I'm talking about. If you lasso this, copy and then you add the element in that way and then you pick which um, selection you want it in, it will have a white background. And then if you want to delete that out of there, you can just and go to that and then hit done. Um, so if you add them by lassoing them, you go to a sticker thing within GoodNotes and you copy or lasso it and then you add the element, it will have a white background. If you import from files, it will not have a white background. Um, so one of the things that it really, really makes a big difference in, and I'll, I'll show you the differences here real quick. So here's ones with black backgrounds. You can still see what they are. Um, just not as easy as a sticker page in my opinion, um, but you may love the look of this too. Scroll over to my favorites. You'll see that all of these have a white background and they are super, super easy and fun um, to look at. So um, this is using it within GoodNotes and adding the elements in separately that way. So uh, time-wise, I think it's about the same because you're having to click through and add each sticker individually anyway. So I think time-wise, you're probably going to end up about the same unless they um, import a feature where you can select more than one. Uh, there were options, like there were times that I could select more than one, but it would not let me like drag and drop or import or any of that sort of thing. So um but I am liking the white background. I like it for when you're choosing a collection down here and I like it for looking at them as well. Um, another reason why I really like the white background is if you're going with any kind of quotes or um, widgets, any of our widgets that we sell with Breezy Organization to make your planner completely customizable, you cannot see them very well with the black background. So I definitely, I added the widgets into my favorite sticker planner, and then I just added my favorite widgets into um, the elements feature within GoodNotes, and that allowed it to have a white background. So I'll show you what those look like here. And as you can see, you can read the top um, of them to know kind of how their layout is and to know, hey, this one's cleaning, that's menu, that's travel. So I love having that white background because you can definitely see a little bit more of um, what kind of widget you are choosing. So let me show you here what I have going on. If you click on this, um, I have, actually it'd probably be better just to show you in split screen. I'm sorry, my kids are going nuts in the next room. Um, okay, so let's just turn it sideways and show you what this looks like split screen. These are the widgets. Um, so I have one called widgets. These are the most common widgets that I use. I have a few more to add to this, um, but just to show you what it looks like. And then quotes, I'm going to add a few more to that too. Those are my last two that I just added. And then I have travel. I have plants. These are just some of my absolute favorite stickers that I use all the time. Food. And then I have work. And then I have a few favorites. And then this is one that I tend to copy and paste. Like these are exactly the right size to fit exactly where I need them at in the planner. And so I love having this exactly sized right. And then I have my farmhouse collection. I don't know if I'll go back and use a white background for these or if I'll just leave them as is. You can still see what they are, um, but I do like the white background better.
Okay, so that's a look at all of that. I wanna show you a couple more ways that you can use the elements feature um, that I just think is going to save a lot of time. Uh, along with that washi, like I was talking about at the beginning, if you have um, anything in your planner that you tend to use a lot. This is um, our expenses, our variable expenses and our income. This is stuff that we just use every single month and I have to go back and copy and paste it. Um, and it's just awesome because it saves it exactly the right size. So if I go to August and I wanna go ahead and put that in, all I would do is hit the edit feature, hit elements, and then I could just go to my frequently used and then you'll see this weird one with a whole bunch of writing in different places all i have to do is click that and just line it up and i am good to go so this is amazing if you have staples in your grocery list if you have finances that you always have to write in if you have just a basic routine that you do every single week everything's going to be sized perfectly and it's going to fit into your planner perfectly after you just lasso all i did to do that was lassoed all of this together and then added it as an element i think that is incredible so like whenever I go back and I'm on a monthly view, um, if you watch my plan with me videos, you know that I add certain things in my monthly view. So if we go back to that frequent um, things, I add in these deadlines and I add in the upload YouTube, the film YouTube. So if I click on this deadline sticker, what is awesome about that is it's sized just how I had it sized. But if I zoom into this and I hit text, I can still edit the text. It's not permanent. So you can also, uh, if you have a list form or anything like that, you can copy that and put that in your elements too, because it is edible after you just add those stickers in. And I think that is an incredible, incredible feature. So that is a little bit, a look at elements, how to use it. Hopefully this video helped you uh, not making some of the same mistakes that I did. Um, if you do want to change what your main sticker is down here, you'll click this arrow and then you can simply rearrange them up here. And then whenever you click done, um, that sticker will be changed down here so I liked having this pink school one so I'm going to move that back over here hit done and that will show you what your main icon is for down here so hopefully this video helped you out I do love love the love the feature I think it's great for frequently used in all of your favorite stickers stickers um, writing text, anything that you would do repetitive within your planner. This is hands down an amazing, amazing feature. So thanks. Good notes for that. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you on the next one, which is going to be Sunday. We have a sticker planner pack release. If you're just starting digital planner, you're going to want this sticker pack. It covers all of your basics. So I will catch you on the next one and thanks for watching.